Thank you. Awesome. So welcome Team B. Uh, we are so excited to have a special guest on tonight. I'm going to do an introduction um, very shortly, but I just wanted to make a couple announcements. Um, so happy Wednesday. Uh, if you're in Ontario, you know it's our coldest day, mm -hmm. I think, of the winter. We're getting down to like minus 20 tonight. There's Brandy in her toque. I was almost ready to bring my toque on as well, too. It is chilly. I got my heater on just blasting. But, um, but we can still have fun in the cold, can't we? So a um, couple things. Um, we have an amazing group called Design a Life You Love. Most of you are very familiar with it and are using it to support your growth in the business. Um, if you have a story in that group, we just ask you to go back to that story and title it appropriately. And what I mean by that is if you have a story, let's say like Sarah Marin, who is I think on the call, um, she's got such a powerful story around being a cancer survivor for two times round and talks about her thyroid. So Sarah, if you could go back and maybe talk about like being a mom, being a cancer survivor twice, because what we're um, finding because we have so many stories um, and we're getting so many people added to our team, people want to hear stories. And now there's that beautiful search engine. If they put the word cancer in, your name is going to come up and they'll be able to get to your story immediately. Um, if you're a health professional and you want to put like naturopath, chiropractor, holistic nutritionist with food allergies, it's just going to make that search engine so much faster for people to um, tag people. So if you guys could work on all of your teams and communicate that so that we can have titles. It'll just make for that page really, really efficient. So thank you in advance. Second thing real quick, um, the Shred Movement group. If you're not part of the Shred Movement group um, that Dr. Mitra Ray has started, you wanna make sure that you are added to it. Um, this is going to be, I'm gonna say, the new funnel that you're gonna be able to invite prospects, that you're gonna be able to convert your customers over. And why this is so special and so important is Dr. Mitra Ray is spending a lot of money behind the scenes with an expert that is helping us create a strong funnel for you guys so that we can love and educate on our prospects. So if you are in that group or have noticed that um, there's more functions available in groups and within the group they're called study units and in the units is where we can actually educate people and so she's actually grouping them in stories. So we're gonna have like testimonials, what we're gonna call them stories and video stories. We're gonna have, you know, and it's really gonna be set up almost by the color codes of people. So the greens want research. There's gonna be a unit based on our greens that want the research. Um, the, you know, you bring in a yellow into our business and they want stories. They're gonna be a whole section of stories. Um, you're going to want people that want a combination of just gen general information. There's going to be um, a unit in that. So we're really excited. And there's a lot of time. There's a lot of financial investment that Mitra is paying out of her own pocket to have a consultant helping us behind the scenes. And the vision of it is to have literally thousands and thousands and thousands of people in that group and then every month we're funneling them into the shred group um, what's really exciting is that like this shred that's coming up which is december 3rd there's 10 shred coaches there's already a flyer that's been released so i will post it in the group chat that there will be the flyer that you can use and it's just again new energy new coaching um, new information to keep it fresh and exciting and to add a lot of value. So um, there was a question. Hold on. I'm going to go back. I saw it come through. Is there any way we can get Sarah's story now? Well, Sarah's, is Sarah Marin's story, you mean? My office staff is going through treatments again for the second time. So yeah, her story is there. It's in the Design a Love You Life group. And all you have to do is add the person into Facebook and then tag them into Sarah's story. Um, if you go into the search button, you can actually put Sarah's name in it and Sarah will come up. That's another way that, because you know Sarah's story, you can just put her name in it for now and it will come up. Yes, that's amazing. I'm trying to log into the site, but Facebook is slow. Okay, and you're gonna try to tag. Okay, perfect. Um, 
So that's, and then, and just, um, business is good. Um, I just looked at the numbers before I jumped on. We've got 16 new uh, team members from Team B in Canada this year or this month. So awesome. Is there any newbies that we want to shout out to? Anybody want to welcome your new guests for the team call? You can um, unmute yourself and welcome. Hey, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi, Patricia. Yeah, we can hear you. I'd like everybody to meet my son, Brandon. This is his first team call. Say hi. Hi. Hi, Brandon. He's the newest member of our team, and he's extremely excited about the mission. And you know, we saw, uh, we, he came to regional with me uh, in Aurelia, and he came to see Anthony Goley again in Toronto with me last week. And he's just all fired up about the mission. So he's happy to be here today, aren't you? Yeah. He's even got his little office up. We're doing this from his room tonight. He's even got his little office set up here with his Juice Plus information and his pens and pencils and his pamphlets. And he's right into it. Amazing. And Brandon, we'll have to get your story and design a life you love because his story is he's a cancer survivor over, I'm going to say at least two times. Is that correct? Yes. And the first time you were how old? About four years old, man. Yeah. Four years old. So he's cancer survivor as a child. So when he's here with us today, and um, Juice Plus has definitely changed their life. And I'm just getting goosebumps all over. And I see you, and I just, you know what? You are the reason why I keep on going to events. I met, met Patricia at. Um, a networking group and she was selling Avon and she was beside me in her booth and I kept on loving on her and uh, you just have to be patient and she finally came up to me and said do you think that juice plus might help my son he's going through round two and here you guys are and I just go wow that's why you guys stop asking me if you think you should go to an event just go to the event <laughs> there might be a patricia or a friend in there waiting for your message don't ask me that question ever again <laughs> awesome thank you for being on anybody else want to do a shout out to any newbies before we get started we got everybody okay so let's um get started lindsay white i can see her there she is so i'm going to introduce lindsay white if you guys don't know who she is uh, she's one of Canada's, I'm going to say still newest, you're still kind of fresh, fresh meat, <laughs> maybe a year in NMD. Um, she's a 24 club. She lives outside of Calgary. She's under my mom, Janice, and um, she's got a beautiful story and she's going to tell you a little bit about her story and then go into some training that she did at conference. Um, what I love about Lindsay is her background is she was a professional athlete. And when she really got how to do this business, she turned her athletic mindset on and treated this business like an athlete. And it has served her very well. Um, she's a full-on fluorescent blue. So if you guys understand the color codes, she's the most organized person. She actually organized all of, I think, Shining Star training at the last conference because we're like, oh my gosh, thank gosh, we have a blue. We love you and we need blues. And um, so she's on top of it. She's an inspiration to her team. They call her Balance Builders. Um, she's married to Mark, a firefighter, very fit firefighter, um, that started his journey later in life and um, went for it, which is just so inspiring. And um, they have a very, very close-knit um, team. And her training tonight, um, she's really going to share some of the stuff that she has done to really build um, her team and make it really, really strong. She's also a mama of two um, and a personal trainer, does a lot of personal training in her, in her, um, in her basement. Um, and we're just so grateful that you could join us and just share a little bit about how you're building momentum and team. I know you feel that you're not moving fast. Like, you know, I'm 24, I want to be 100 club. But what I see is that you're building a stable, lasting business because you have such stability in your team. So I will let you um, start. I'm going to find your presentation, but you can keep on talking. Talk. Wow, thanks, Nicole. That was, uh, that was quite funny, actually. And I just want to be super clear that I'm not so much fluorescent anymore. Um, I definitely have a little blend of everything else coming in thanks to um, my team that's bringing that out in me. So, um, so thank you so much for having me back on. I absolutely love it. I feel like Team B is near and dear to my heart because they were, 
you guys have all been um, massive in the growth of my own business and uh, my team. And um, thanks to thanks to Jen, as I was able to connect with Nicole, and Nicole has helped me along. So I'm very grateful for all of that. So um, so just like Nicole said, my story started. Um, it's going to be seven years in January, which is so cool to be able to say that. I calculated. I think it was like. 2,196 days, I think I've been taking Juice Plus, and it was so cool to say that on Facebook. That I and I actually started when I was, I had an 18-month-old, and I was eight months pregnant with my second, and, you know, just like Nicole said, you know, being an athlete, being in the fitness industry for 15 years, I got the whole nutrition thing, we were juicing, we were doing it all right, my husband's super fit for his age and for his job now, and, um, but it wasn't until my 18-month-old, she was sick, and she was getting sick all the time, she had asthma, eczema, and all of it. And I, we just weren't doing enough. So she needed it. And so I went searching on the internet and came across this beautiful product. And so um, thankfully, Janice picked me up along the way and showed me how to kind of start this business. But you know what, I'm gonna be completely honest, is I didn't have a clue what I was doing because I had so much going on in my life at that time. So I was just solely doing it for my daughter, except you know, we had, once we started, we had two kids under the age of two. Um, I was still working about 50 to 60 hours a week in Calgary, in town, driving to town from the country, um, managing a 70,000 square foot training facility. So big, 100 employees, lots going on. Uh, we had an opportunity to build a forever home. Mark was still owning his own business here at the house. Plus, he's trying to get on with a firefighter. And so I had two jobs once I added on Juice Plus. So we had lots going on. And so I was only sharing the product with my important people that needed to be on it because Olivia was doing so wonderfully. You know, she is knocked down to one or two sick days a year. We've decreased her allergies. We don't have to medicate her every day for asthma. Eczema was gone right away. Like we were having massive wins with her health. So she needed that support. And not to mention, obviously, we were having that, we were noticing benefits as well, but it was just so much through her. And so we had built up this, you know, steady income, like, you know, for us, because it was a couple hundred dollars a month. And when I started, that's what I was kind of thinking, because I was like, I was going into my second mat leave. And I was like, Marcus was just getting on with the fire department, which means he was going to be a shift worker. Plus, we live in the country. And I was like, I don't know how we're going to make this work with my 60 hours a week. And so I thought if I could cut back, having an extra couple hundred dollars, that would be pretty great. And we did that quite quickly. Now, when Mark came back, that was kind of like that moment that, and it was, and it was quick in the business that this moment happened. Um, I went to the, for my first conference. So go to your first conference. Always go to your first conference as quickly as you can in the first uh, bit of your business. Because um, I was sitting beside Nicole, and I'm sure Janice planned it, but I was sitting beside Nicole, and she leaned over and she said to me during the NMD speeches and said, um, when are you going to be an NMD? And I wasn't thinking lifestyle. I wasn't thinking that this was an opportunity. All I was thinking was everybody else was doing it in five years. I'm an athlete. I'm competitive. I'm going to do it in five years too. But I had no idea what I was going to do and why. And so when I came home and Mark came back and he was like, okay, we got to assess some stuff here. We have some financial problems, we are getting into some serious debt. Um, I can't go back to work, but I need to go back to work, but I can't go back to work for myself. Um, and he started this job and he's set now for his income. And so I couldn't work any more hours. We couldn't be away from the kids. They need something consistent because of his shift work. And so this became our only option to get out of debt, to keep me at home and to keep some consistency while we were going through this crazy life. And so that's when we decided, and you know what, it was like, it was three years from that point that we made it to the top level of the company. And you guys, we had so much going on. It wasn't that, you know, we had all this time, we were putting, we were just working hard, building a team, sharing with people. And so I'm so grateful that we were able to make it to the top level of the company exactly five years to the date that I told Nicole sitting in that seat that I was gonna be NMD because I just had my eye on the prize. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I was just gonna do it because it meant that much to our family. And so now with growing team, and I use that for our team. And so right when team starts, we talk about, you know, what these goals are and what they want. So um, Nicole, if you want to share a screen, I'll get started on those. So right from the very beginning, being an athlete, um, athletes are, they love community. They um, are, athletes are, tell me what to do and I'm going to do it. Like whatever the coach says, you like coaches, like, higher than parents when it comes to sport, like whatever the coach says you do. And so that was kind of the approach that I took with um, the business. 
And so I wanted to create this community of and people that, you know, it wasn't all business and it wasn't all product. And that's why, you know, with our balanced build, as we say, we empower people to achieve a balanced lifestyle. So balance through your health. So, you know, eating your, you know, plants and having your chocolate and wine too. And same with life. Like we want people to build their businesses along with, you know, the crazy life because everybody is crazy. So um, for next one, so number two, Nicole. So our, one of the biggest things, so I would say this summer, we went through a massive um, um, transition in our team. And I'm gonna be completely honest, and Nicole says steady, and sure, that's great, it's steady. Um, but we always wanna go faster, right? But it, you know, you can't, you can't go fast yourself. The whole team has to go fast, and it just isn't gonna happen. So you have to kind of appreciate where your team, your own business is at and team, business, or team is at. And so, you know, I've got a lot of support this summer to simplify stuff for our team. Um, and so we are now just, you know, when you implement new systems and things, so whatever your leadership um, <laughs> shares with you and coaches you to do and teaches you to do and shares with you with these, all these systems, you know, you need to give it like six months. You need to give it six months until it all rolls out and, you know, the needs are really, really great at implementing systems. And the, you know, the old veteran reps, you know, that's where they, they dig their heels in a little bit. And it's really hard to uh, go through change. So six months. And so we're now just seeing this transition of these simplified systems that we are doing. So with all of our reps now, we work, we grow to your goals. So, you know what, it's okay if you don't achieve your goals. Like, it's okay. You're not always going to win first, first place of competition. Um, but it's everything that happens in between leading up to that competition. And exactly like an athlete, this is like the practice, right? So it's actually the, the practice, those 10,000 hours are more important than that one competition. And so that's those, these daily goals or those, these monthly goals. And so all of our, like, anybody can do this, but we really do it with all of our active reps. Everybody's open to do it. We talk about it on our team calls at the beginning of every month. So we set goals. So you can see as an example, you know, I kind of just threw in here. Um, you could, this can be for anybody. It can be anybody if it's brand new that they're just going to be focusing on, you know, orders or points and all the way up to if you're going, you know, going for Q or an MD, like what does that look like for pay line and breaking that down? Because with uplines, we know what the big goal is six months, six months out because we go conference to conference. And what does that look like breaking it, you know, dividing by six? So what does that look like monthly? And is that achievable? Because that is the main thing when it comes to goals. You are allowed to hit goals and you're, you, you can hit goals, but you're also allowed to miss goals and that's okay because that's where the growth happens. And so you need to break down your goal down from those six months to one month because you know what, if you break that down, you're like, oh, okay, I need a hundred orders in each month from now until conference to reach my goal. Well, then we need to look at how many orders you're placing right now and is that achievable? So we make sure we do that every month. Another thing with doing this every single month is that you have the little wins to acknowledge and you know to celebrate each month. Um, and so that's why it's really important to the monthly ones. We also um, started doing these monthly team targets. This is also where, you know, a little bit of this competition comes from. And so everybody has this on their virtual office. And so we set monthly team targets. And so that three to five club, and we really, really kind of make this shine. So everybody wants to be in the three to five club. Because if you're in three to five club every single month, over five years, you're going to be making forty to fifty thousand dollars. So even if you have people that are, you know, just dabbling in the business, if they see the five-year vision, they are going to be making getting in that three to five club every single month. You're definitely going to have people that are going to be doing more than that. But if you focus on something like that, like a small team target, then more people can win. You have more people doing less. And so that was a big change for us this past summer was working on these team targets. The third thing we did to help go towards goals, and we did this with everybody across the team, and now we do this with every single new rep. So we welcome all of our new reps to our team, and then we do a connection vision call. This has changed everything because um, we, we, we stopped talking about, okay, um, K, you want to get to BF, or O, you want to get to C. We don't even talk about levels anymore. We talk about, okay, what do you want from this business? And we connect it to their life. So it might be different for everybody else. Like it might be, you know, the last few um, connection calls you're doing, somebody wants to pay for their wedding. Um, and so, you know, but I, we had to dig to find out that that would be something that they would need, need help doing. And so what does that look like to pay for your wedding? You know, what does that, do you have your dream wedding? Do you know what the costs are? Do you know how much your dress is? Like, let's put all the costs together and figure out what that's going to look like for you. 
It can come down to having wiggle room at the end of the month. It can be that car pain, anything, but associating it to that person that we're talking to right from the beginning, then they're not set on the promotions. It's like the promotions are a bonus that come behind the scenes. Like, Oh, by the way, we get to celebrate you because you, you know, reached your goal of making $300. Right. And so they're more focused on, um, what it's going to mean to them than it is to the actual promotions through the marketing plan. And we just find that people are more attached to the day to day, um, consistent habits rather than you know worrying about doing something in 30 days or worrying about doing it over a period of time rather than you know having just like the like you we were talking about um you know building stable this is what's helping us feel stable and so when people start to drift a bit makes it a lot easier for us to go back and say okay i just want to remind you that when we first initially started um why you said you wanted to do this business and i'm just your coach so i'm just here to you know keep you accountable and keep you on track and 99% of the time, that's all anybody needs is just that reminder from the coach saying, you know, come back on track and this is why you started the business. And then so quickly, because we have that vision connection call at the very beginning, people are achieving those goals faster and they're connected into the business and our company um, stronger because it's connected to something in their life. And so these connection calls are with the new rep, the direct upline, and right now with their with with myself being an ND. And so the three of us get on the call, they take about a half an hour and they are amazing amazing calls. People get off these calls and they're picking up the phone, they're talking to people right away because they are lit up and on fire. So we just did this with a new rep and she hasn't even been in the business for a month yet and she has two reps and she's almost behind the scenes almost to VF with her own personal orders. And that's just because she had that connection at the very beginning. Uh, next slide, Nicole. So when we talk about systems and we created systems that fit our team and we're so grateful for all the teams in this company that have opened up obviously things that have worked for them and we've just taken what we feel works for us. So um, this summer we really like just hit home with um, Aussie's Australia, um, Brian Marsh's foundation funnel as we call it. And so, you know, we are number one and we just, we filter everybody through this funnel. So number one, you know, we're always having fun. And number two, we're creating that curiosity, whether it's through conversations or, you know, posts on Facebook, um, you know, and then we're sharing and inviting. That's the next step. So once you're having fun and once the people are saying, what are you doing or why are you looking so good? Next thing, oh, can I share this event with you? Or can you come to this event? Or can you watch this recording? Or can I share my mini trailer with you? Some, some kind of link that gets shared so everybody can do it and it, even if they're not local then everybody has something that they can send to the people that they're inviting every single every single week we have an event every single week we have an opportunity for the people to invite 30 people to one event every single week then we follow, have our follow-up four. So we have four questions that the entire team can ask these four questions once they see say when will you have an opportunity to you know watch the recording or you know within 24 hours after a live event that they came to they are following up with these four questions that they can ask so then we're guiding them, how did it make you feel? How would that benefit you and your family? What else do you need to know to get, um, before getting started? So at that final question, then people are saying yes to the sale. And then if not, the next step of the funnel is that three-way. And so we've switched from three-way because we've got some hard heads on our team that we just seem to struggle getting onto three-ways. And so we do three-way Facebook Messenger and it has completely changed now. Um, we have no problem getting people onto that validation and um you know getting those last you know those final questions that people have getting them um taken care of so we also do power hours so power hours we have a schedule that we set up and so these are um set times as you can see we're playing with times as well because we're always tweaking with polls on our team to see what fits best um but these are guided hours to show people how to work their business so you can jump on to these calls we have morning evening and one on the weekend you can jump on to see how you can work your business in a period of time. So one that can keep accountable, that's something you can guarantee to do every week. And also for new people is getting them on these calls so they know how to work their business in the time that they have allotted um, for the business. And this one other picture on the side is just a one pager. So when we, we meet with new reps, um, this one pager is basically all you need to do the business. So you know you need Boxer and Zoom, you need our team page, you need your virtual office, you need Freedom Revolution, Healthy Living Revolution, um, you know our website, team call every Sunday, GoPro, and then our power up series, which we've actually scrapped. We put our vision calls in. So this picture can be sent to um, our team and they can be, um, it can be saved to the phone 
And so it's easy, easy to reference. So they're not going to a hundred different places because that was one of the main things when we start to simplify a lot of the things on our team, within our team, is that there's so much everywhere. And it's like people were getting lost going down the rabbit hole, you know, because of like watching this video and that video. And just it's like people were getting so distracted and not highest paying activities in that, you know, when we say 15 to 30 minutes a day, then it's being really, really like income producing activities. Uh, next slide. Okay, so we like to have a ton of fun, ton of fun. And this is, I think, this is where the community, this is where we kind of really connected. And um, we, I feel like this is how we're attracting the right people to our team. So we took this probably two years ago um, from uh, the ninjas and we um, obviously made our own, but we, did, we do this at every single conference leading up to. And so about six to eight weeks before we go to the conference, um, we find out who's gonna be coming and then we put everybody onto two teams, team balance, team builders, and as you can see, you get points associated to things that you accumulate over the four or eight weeks leading up to conference. So we have a separate Facebook messenger group for the people that are going and on these teams. So we do a whole draw, get it all exciting on our team page, and then um, throw these people into the uh, group, uh, Facebook group. And then we just, they have to screenshot all of their like new reps, orders, or anything like that in there, and then I'm going through and calculating everything. Uh, but, and I, I give you know, tallies throughout, and you guys, it is so exciting to see these two teams that are going out, like, and there's like banter going back and forth, and people are so excited to see, you know, these orders are coming in, and there's like such a hustle leading up to conference every single time. You guys, we're not playing for anything other than like bragging rights, and the losing team has to buy the winning team a glass of wine served on a tray at Canadian conference. We saw the pictures on Facebook. And then one morning before, well, one team, one, one team goes and um, saves seats. The other team goes to Starbucks and has to bring us our coffee for one morning. So a coffee and a wine, bragging rights. And sometimes we have fun little prizes. But that is it and the hustle that goes on. And leading up to this last conference, so cool because uh, it was a long weekend right before cut month end cutoff. I believe. And on the long weekend, like this group was like lit up and it became like, cause we also put in there that we had an order, um, a goal of getting, you know, just with that group getting, um, I think it was like 200 orders or something like that. And like, it became not like one team means the other. It was like, okay, guys, we're all going to work towards getting our, you know, whole team order done before conference. And it was so cool watching everybody was more concerned about hitting that team target than they were about who was winning. And then after the fact, they were like, Oh, who won? So, so, so cool. But then we created that curiosity on Facebook and had the pictures of people like, you know, serving us with wine and people are wondering like who won and what was going on. And it was just, it was so much fun. And so we did this, we're doing this right now. So we have a November hustle. So this is the first time we've done it outside a conference because we wanted people that didn't go to conference to experience this. And so right now we have a week left of this one and same thing. It's been so much fun. We've had, you know, challenges going on and, you know, leading up to, you know, getting into the Christmas time right now, you know, things could change with your business, but we just didn't want that to happen. And so that's why we're going right up to December 3rd with this uh, a November hustle. Same thing. It's just bragging rights and a few additional little prizes um, that they don't know. They have no idea what they're playing for right now. Like literally do not know the prizes. They just know they're playing and it's really lopsided right now. So I'm really hoping it starts to balance out because that makes it fun when the teams are balanced, but um, it's so much fun watching everybody hustle. So and then the final thing is this when I, I keep going back to this because it is so much fun with our team. You know, you, you heard Nicole say that, that we are a close knit team. We started all really local, but we've gone, you know, we started to spread obviously across the country and it's getting harder and harder, but you know, we're having a ton of fun and we're creating curiosity. And to me, um, we're posting as much as we can about our community and about our team and about what our beliefs are um, and our values and, when somebody comes up to me and they say, whatever you guys, whatever you're doing, I want to do it because you guys are just having so much fun. I'm like, that's why we do the business. And that's when we're attracting the right people because yeah, I want people to come in and have some fun. And oh, by the way, we're going to help your family as well. Um, so that is the systems that we have um, simplified and just made, uh, made, had so much fun, so much fun doing so. You're muted. There we go. Oh my God, I was talking to myself. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lindsay. That was awesome. Can you just tell me, so you mentioned about doing a weekly event and then you do monthly. So do you have a team call once a month or once a week? Team call. A team call, we, we have once a week, every Sunday. Once a week. 
And then what type of a weekly event are you doing online to support your team? Is it an online event weekly? We do an online weekly and we do two to three live events a month. So we're trying to get to weekly live events as well. So it's almost two a week, but. Okay. Okay. And when you do your online event, what does that look like? It's 30 minutes and you are doing product and business. It's almost like a healthy living revolution or is it just storytelling? Yeah, so we've got it down now that we have um, all of our product explanation done in um, just in just under eight minutes. Okay. Um, and then we have, two, plus the host, we have the host who does a tiny like one minute product story. Um, right. So we only have two product stories. So eight minute product explanation, all that kind of stuff and two product stories and then we go into business and then we have three business stories. So two products, so is that about 30 minutes? Yeah, we've actually, you know, we've been trying now, um, we've done a couple of noon hour online events and we've been using them um, for opportunities as well to record, so we've pre-recorded events and we've gotten our call, our uh, online events down to 20 minutes. Nice. So 20 minute ones are ones that we send to people, hey, you, um, you know, somebody says, hey, what are you up to? Or, you know, I saw what, whatever you're doing on Facebook, you know, what are you up to? That yeah. 20 minute one would be one that you'd, you'd send to somebody who's curious. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So product and business, very similar. And then your lives, what would your lives look like? Like similar same to thing. that? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. We would have, we have an extra story, um, but are they're about 40 to 45 minutes. Beautiful. There's the consistency that the Australians are telling us to do weekly events. Just do them, do them, do them online live online. I was actually just on the phone today with Luke Wren. We're getting him ready to come up uh, for January. And uh, I found it very interesting because as you know, Luke Wren uh, married Katie Ravy and Katie Ravy went, you know, 100 club in a very short period of time. And then I think she got close to a thousand club or maybe hit a thousand club and her income by the time she was 26 years old was $100,000 a month. And people assume that she did all of it online. And Luke corrected me today. He goes, no, you are, you are absolutely wrong. She had an online program called the Skinny Rules and she promoted it and got people curious, but they did massive, massive live events all over Europe. Yeah. So they got people curious online, but they had, oh, come to my live event come to my live event, come to my live event. And they created the like, hey, there's 30 people here at our live event. The next month was 60 people. The next month was 100 people. And they created this massive, massive movement in Europe. And um, that was a real good reminder in reality. So many people think that, oh, so-and-so is building it online. But it's the lives that work. People are looking for human connection today because social media takes that away. Mm -hmm. So the human element is heart to heart, face to face connection. And people are starving for that today. So I think, Lindsay, what you're doing is brilliant. And I think you've really got a really nice balance between, you know, doing your social media posts, getting people curious, you're showing that you're having fun, you're doing an online event to bring them in, and then you're consistently doing your live events. And that's really the system that's been set up over in Europe, the system that's been set up over in um, Australia. And you got, you're just teachable. There is that athletic mindset. You're just doing it because that's what athletes do. You're very teachable. So um, that's what, uh, yeah, you want to plug into, right? So if you are a leader on this call tonight, um, I would just say, there you go. There's a system in place that you guys can start to implement immediately. So very exciting. Thank you so much again, Lindsay. Um, I know we're five minutes over, but does anybody have any um, last minute I comments? I do, I do. Can you hey. hear me? Um, yeah. Lindsay, first of all, thank you so much. Can you please tell us what those four questions that you had that you said you simplified it was like, how do you feel? How do you benefit? How would this benefit you and your family? I, I didn't write fast enough. What, what do you need to get started? Something like what that. Did you connect, what did you connect with the most? Or what did you like most? Or what did you find more interesting? Okay, sorry. Sorry, you were cutting out. Did, did anyone else hear that? Can someone else type it if they heard it? So say that again, Lens. So 
that you want to ask them something like about the event. So what do they like best? What do they connect with? What they find most interesting? So something about the event. Yeah. And then um, how do you feel that that could fit into your lifestyle? Do you feel like that could be a good fit? How could you see this benefiting your family? You or your family? And then what else do you need to know before making the exciting decision to get started? Beautiful. Power questions, exactly how um, Anthony was using them in his event. Loved it. And the one thing um, too about just the events, the events have been huge. Um, I've been, been coached by Luke Wren. And so obviously that's where the, um, the events have come from, the consistency. doesn't matter if you have one or 30 people or 100 people, you do them no matter what. So we have some great team parties if we don't. Um, but we've been fortunate that we do always have new people there um, because we've changed the inviting. So and when I was saying that we do 30 invites, and so that's another thing that you can do all the events you want, but it, always, it actually comes from the inviting. And so we now only voice note our invites. We have made all of our team practice with myself and their upline. They have to send box or invites. They have to be less than 30 seconds because that's all Facebook Messenger allows you to voice, or less than a minute, sorry, because that's all that uh, Messenger will allow you to do. And um, you're selling yourself through your voice and these voice notes. And so you can type an invite, invite but chances are people are gonna say no, they're busy or probably ignore you. And so if they hear your voice or see a video for less than, a one, in less than one minute, they're more likely to say yes, because if you're telling them why they need to be there or you're counting on them or hear the excitement in your voice, they're gonna say yes to the invite. And if you can get it under a minute, then when people are working their business for 30 minutes a day, you can challenge the team to do 30 invites in 30 minutes. And so that is every week, that is our goal, to do 30 and 30. Beautiful. I love it. Um, I, did, I missed one shout out at the beginning, Jacinta Zahn. She was a distributor a few years ago, just became a raving fan and, and customer, and she's just kind of come back in the business. So this is her first team call. You can give her a shout out. And um, she just did her first live event today. Mm -hmm. um, in her car, she was running late, but she pulled over, bless her heart, mm -hmm. and um, she figured out technology. We stumbled a few times. It took her a bit to figure it out, but she persevered, and we got her story out there on um, a group, and we got some of her friends commenting. So I just want to give a shout out that that is total bravery. Um, that scares the crap out of most people doing your first live. And, um, and as I say, you just keep on getting better and better. So thank you for, for trusting and just jumping in and sharing from your heart. And uh, we have her um, uh, protein ball Christmas party coming up for her second event. So just wanted to do a shout out for being so teachable and following the system, which is getting your, your story out there. So on that note, I think that's it, Lindsay. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Some amazing training. You are such an inspiration. I love watching your growth. It's been such a beautiful journey to see you. And uh, I'll see you in Quebec City in a couple of weeks celebrating um, NMDs and, uh, and more growth in 2019. Thanks, Team B. Have a great night. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Nicole. Good night. Thank you.